so we've got Hanoka we got Hanoka O um Takoyo A Career A looks like Hanoka and Yatsa have banned so it looks like it's gonna be Talia A versus Obero and uh Karuru A2 and uh, Takoyo A1. So, we'll see what's going on. All in all, a pretty aggressive deck uh, for Mudo versus a more defensive deck from Hepro. The classic offense versus defense. So, we'll see how that goes. See how that goes. Alright. So let's see the moles here. There's some interesting moles using the Korean mod. Did not know that was how it worked. Right. Oh, and some sound effects. Interesting. Alright, we start right off with Neo Black Box, pretty standard opening here. Um, when it uh, gets two petals, you can transform. So, let's see now. Both players opt to open with Focus 1. Interesting. Hebrew missing out on a Vigor there, minor mistake. Probably should have spent its figure. I don't believe he did. So, fast paced game right now. Song and dance is played to gain the vigor, it seems. Um, whoa. Chooses not to do that. A little bit of a strange deck from a Hebrew, honestly. I'm not really sure how to win with this deck. I'm sure it's a good deck. I'm just not exactly sure the way it functions. As I said, it's very control heavy. So we'll see the way that this pans out. We are approaching here. Looks like he's gonna get an attack or two off this turn. Looks like just one. Let's... I'm assuming that Hebrew's just gonna take this to life. And then he gets to maneuver. Probably gonna maneuver forward. Yep. Steel strings is an option, whether it's a great option or not, I'm not sure. <laughs> What he's probably thinking is, will my opponent um, be in this range uh, after? A little shenanigans here, though, because uh, Wudo did see the song and dance from his opponent's hand, so playing into it would be a little silly, because uh, I think he saw it. He saw it anyway, he will get song and dance. Uh, not sure if he just forgot who chose to do this. Distance is now five. Uh, I don't know. That was a bit strange. I think he should have held on to it. Or discarded it, at least. Maybe he didn't have any use to discard it and didn't want to hold it. I'm not sure. Or just to get the song in the end, so. But, yeah.
Omni, uh, I didn't really talk about this. Special selection for Mudo is, of course, Neo Black Box to get the transformations, but also Mika Zer and Omni Blaster. I don't feel I see Omni Blaster a whole lot. Uh, it's just XX equal to the amount of transformations you have. You're able to transform a bunch of this a strong card into the late game. Very good to anticipate and he wears more defensive style here, so we'll see what happens. Heaver draws, and now distance is now um, four. So let's see if he's just going to play out his cards here. Place Lancing Strike, Guido has to take this to life. There's zero vigor as well. He could also get another life damage here. I don't see why he would it. The Turtle Moon is actually a very good synergy with the Koyo A to set your opponents to Vigor so you can uh, get that extra life damage. No Gentle Snow coming out. So. <sighs> Please connect dive. So if I remember correctly with uh, with Connect Dive, it makes it to where your numbers are doubled by cards that are enhanced with career mechanisms from non career cards. So if you have a career card that is empowered by a different mechanism, then it gets uh, the numbers printed on it are doubled. So this is definitely like a control deck that has ways to get extra life damage off. Uh, I don't believe Udo played any traps. There was really nothing to play. Please choose not to. Uh, Udo trying to burn off the rest of his uh, machine, of course, so he can get uh, his first transformation going. Burning steam is probably going to come down here. There's not much of a punish. Um... I mean, there's, you know there's no song and dance, it's been discarded, or played rather, so when he plays it, it's just going to be pretty open, I think. Uh, Hero will probably take it uh, to life, doesn't want to drop down to one aura versus in this matchup. Ooh, Tenzin takes a more passive turn. Interesting. <sighs> Not exactly sure what the what the last play was there with the Neo Black Box. Good lord, they don't even move their own flare to shadow. Using the special. <laughs> I was dropping Widow to zero. This is to get value off of this. When your opponent has zero vigor, you can choose to take it. Uh, you can choose whether or not their type is the aura life, not his opponent. Very interesting resource to burn early, though. Um, 
F1A1. Checking his connect dive. Looks like he's gonna go to distance zero. Oh, this is a good strategy with the Koyo making your opponent go to distance zero. He gets a charge on connect dive. Yeah, I'm sorry. I cannot remember exactly what the card effects are. Roaring probably gonna come down. Hmm. Because he, I believe that's a wavering edge in his hand. I don't think that's burning steam. The wavering edge is a 3-1 to burn one. I think the problem is, is that with that, he's burning one and he needs to fill his, uh, his machine back up. I believe to get the pedal. I believe you want to pay, it's pretty much empty it, empty it and bring it back up. I think that's the way it works. If I'm not mistaken, I think he can transform whenever he wants. Uh, I'm not entirely sure on the way the card works. I, I thought the general idea was that you increase... Um, you essentially spend the pedals on the machine, then increase and decrease, increase and decrease. It'll research that way. Again, not exactly 100% sure, but I thought it was something similar to that. Let's see. I believe some of his strongest attacks are already in this discard pile. I missed and I don't remember if Glancing Strike is in this played pile or not. I keep saying discard played pile there interchangeably. In this played pile, since he doesn't really have a lot of attacks, he's maybe looking to reshuffle to see if um, he can get some more life damage on his opponent. Ops into Regaina. Of course, you use Regaina to play Connect Dive or something. Dang. I'm repeat. What? I don't understand what the combo is. You regain a. No, Connect Dive doubles the Regaina, which then allows you to essentially play something from the play pile twice. I'm not sure how it gets an odd number, though.
I think it was, um, it had to have been the 2 1 attack. So, that should have been either 2 life damage or something. Again, I'm not sure. I don't know, man. I don't know how to play Sakura Arms. I don't know what any of this shit is. <laughs> I'm old school. I fucking play the base original Megami's. I don't know. And Kamui. All this other shit. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what any of this is. I don't know why Wudo took three life damage. I don't remember what Connect Dive does. Regina does something. I don't understand how he took three life damage. All I know is it looks like Wudo's not winning the game. But... We will see. <laughs> Uh, this is why I need a co-commentator, someone who actually knows the cards, but it's like, eh, it's like noon on a Saturday where I'm in the um, U.S., so, also I can't stream in Discord based on certain circumstances, so, yeah, uh, we will see, probably just gonna play out his hand here, uh, I don't exactly remember the way Black Box Neo works either. I'm not sure, like looking at the what Ludo has, I'm not sure how he comes back from this. I'm so confused about his black box. <laughs> Plays quick change, gets a transformation. Which I guess allows you to recover a burned artifact, I you know that. Transformation comes into play, you don't get the transform effect, you just get its effect. I'm so confused. Is this cheese? I'm not familiar with this cheese if this is cheese. Why does he have so much flair? There has to be cheese. I'm not sure what the cheese is. Alright. He does have another opportunity to get life damage. I'm sure he's going to take it. Uh, we're just starting to bleed here a little bit. I don't think Ludo can come back from this unless there's like something I'm not familiar with, which is honestly probably the case. He's probably going to pull out some super combo to win the game, and I'm just going to be like, all right. But maybe not. The Sakura Arms is a lot of different effects that do a lot of different things. Although I don't think Omni Blaster does that much damage. And even if it did, he has a Mortal Flower now, so he can't Omni Blaster him. Plays out a mortal flower. And you should die to reshuffle. That should be game. Unless I don't unless I have a fundamental misunderstanding of the game. And you should just lose to reshuffle. Alright, GG. I guess Hebrew wins.